Hi, welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. We are pleased to present you the next set of questions to practice for your exit exam in PSCRB refresher course. This is set number three. Hope you have gone through the earlier two sets. When in life raft, the use of sea anchor will reduce your drift, keep the life raft from turning, aid in recovering the life raft, and increase your visibility. So the purpose of sea anchor is basically to reduce the drift of the life raft. So answer is A. To release the David cable of a David launch life raft, you must Pull the release lanyard, pull the hydraulic release, push the release button, or pull on the ratchet handle. The answer is A, pull the release lanyard. The batteries that power interior lights in life in inflatable life raft can be made to last longer by switching off during daylight. Switching on only when necessary, taking no action as there is no way of saving power, taking no action as it shuts off automatically during daylight hours. Answer is B, switching on only when necessary. Most enclosed lifeboats will right themselves after capsizing if the lower ballast tanks are filled with water Fuel tanks are not less than half full. Passengers are strapped to, strapped to sea, seat belts. Sea anchor is deployed to windward. The answer is passengers are strapped to sea belts. So if passengers are seated in their place, then the boat shall righten by itself. What does the symbol on the screen, IMO symbol on the screen, represent Kipurb, two-way VHF radio, radar reflector, or a SART? The answer is A, Kipurb. So the symbol on the screen is for the Kipurb. Your survival craft is rolling in heavy seas. You can reduce the possibility of capsizing by shifting the rudder constantly moving all persons forward, moving all persons aft, or rigging or streaming a sea anchor. Answer is D, that is rigging a sea anchor. You hear the sound of a gas escaping from the life raft just after it has been inflated. You should quickly hunt for the hole before it deflates. Check the sea anchor line for a tear in the rough seas. Check the painter line attachment for a tear. Or do not panic as the relief valve allows excess pressure to escape. The answer to this is D1. That is do not panic as the relief valve allows excess pressure to escape. If you were to land on a beach, with an oar propelled lifeboat through a heavy surf, the recommended method is to keep the bow directly in towards the beach and tow the sea anchor off the stern, ride in on the back of the large breaker, keep bow into the sea with sea anchor out over the bow and row to meet the breaking waves. Head directly into the beach by staying between the crest of the waves. The answer is C. Keep the bows into the sea with sea anchor out over the bows and row to meet the breaking waves. As per Solas, immersion suit should be unpacked and donned without assistance within how much of time? One minute, two minutes, three minutes or five minutes. The answer is two minutes. The immersion suit should be unpacked and worn within two minutes. 
what does this I am a symbol on your screen mean? Rocket, parachute flares, hand flares, line throwing up lines, or smoke signal. I'm sure it's rocket, parachute flare. So answer is A. If you must abandon ship in heavy seas in a survival craft, when should you remove the safety pin and pull the hook release? Immediately upon launching, one to three feet before first wave contact, upon first wave contact, or only when waterbound? The answer is B. It is done when you are one to three feet before the first wave contact. Provided every effort is made to preserve body moisture, how long is it normally possible to survive without stored water? Up to 3 days, 8 to 14 days, 15 to 20 days, or 25 to 30 days? The answer is 8 to 14 days B. So the body can preserve moisture for that much of a period. The offload release system of a survival craft is, is designed to be activated when there is no load on the cable, when there is load on the cable, only when the doors are shut, and when the engine is started. So it, since it's offload release system, so the answer is A, when there is no load on the cable. A lifeline must be connected to the life raft at the bow, at the stern, in the middle, or all around it. The lifeline in the life raft must be con connected all around the life raft so that people in the water can hold on to the lifeline. What does the IMO symbol on your screens mean? Life raft, rescue boat, lifeboat, evacuation area. I'm sure the picture is self-explanatory. It's a life raft. Your ship is sinking. A life raft container has bobbed to the surface after hydrostatic release. You should. Cut the painter line so it will not pull the container down. Swim away from the container. Take no action as the painter will inflate the life raft. Manually open the container and inflate life raft with the hand pump. The answer is C. Take no action as the painter will inflate the life raft as the uh, it gets taut and the stress comes on the painter. Limit switch on gravity, David, should be tested by the engineers from the panel in the engine room, shutting off the current to the switch, pushing the switch lever arm while wind is running. Testing is not required. Answer is C, pushing the switch lever arm while the wind is running. The handbrake of a lifeboat winch is manually disengaged when hoisting a boat. Applied by dropping the counterweight lever. Controlled by centrifugal brake mechanism. And automatically engaged when lowering speed is excessive. The handbrake of a lifeboat winch is applied by dropping the counterweight lever. So answer is B. The painter of an inflatable life raft should be free running on deck, flaked out next to the case, secured to a permanent object on deck via weak link, stored near the raft. The answer is it should be secured to a permanent object on deck via weak link. What does the IMO symbol on the screen mean? Thermal protective aid, immersion suit, chemical protective suit, 
EEBD that is emergency escape breathing device. I'm sure we all know it's EEBD emergency escape breathing device. What is the purpose of a limit switch on the gravity David? To cut the power when David hit track safety stops. To stop the Davids from going too fast. To cut the power when Davids reach close to the safety stops. To limit the lowering of the lowering speed. The answer is C. To cut the power off when the David reaches close to the safety stops. The purpose of tripping line on a C anchor is to aid in casting off, direct the drift of the vessel, aid in its recovery, or maintain maximum resistance to brushing. The answer is it's an aid in its recovery answer C. You are in a live boat in heavy seas. The boat is stopped and unable to make way. To prevent broaching, you should take no action as broaching is recommended in heavy seas. Put out sea anchor. Put out the sea painter. Fill the bottom of the boat with about one feet foot of water. The answer is put out the sea anchor, that is B. A self-rightening survival craft will return to upright position provided all persons are seated with seat belts on and door shut, are seated with seat belt and doors open, should shift to one side to righten it, escape from the craft. Answer is seated with seat belt on and door shut. That is answer A. What does the IMO symbol on the screens mean? Staircase, embarkation ladder, go down the, for safety and the evacuation slide. I'm sure it appeared in earlier set also. It's evacuation slide. Sea sickness is caused by a rolling or rocking motion which affects the fluids in the stomach lower intestine, inner ear, or the bladder? The answer is, it's the fluid movement in the inner ear. That is answer C. A line throwing appliance is used to pick up survivors in water, to bring life raft in the water close to the ship, to make a connection between a distressed ship and safe ship to pass a towing line, to connect to a lifeboat in the water. I'm sure it's answer C, to make a connection between the distress ship and the safe ship to pass the towing line. Your vessel is damaged and taking in water, but you do not require immediate ass assistance. You would send a message starting with Mayday three times, Pan Pan three times, Security three times, SOS three times. You may be, may be damaged, but you do not require immediate ass assistance. So the message sent out would be as per B, pan, pan, repeated three times. What is the life saving signal for? You are seen, assistance will be given as soon as possible. Green star rocket, red star rocket, orange smoke signal, or the horizontal motion of a flag. The answer is C, orange smoke signal would mean that you are seen, your presence noticed, assistance shall be given soon. What is the minimum number of life boys as per the length of a cargo ship? Now, Basically, this uh, particular question is not a question related to only one specific length. So let us list down the requirement of life buoys for cargo ships against their lengths. 
for less than 100 meters on a cargo ship you need minimum eight life buoys between 100 to 150 minimum 10 life buoys 150 to 200 minimum 12 life buoys and 200 or more you need minimum 14 life buoys what is the minimum number of life buoys as per the length of a passenger ship less than 60 meters 8 60 to 120 12 120 to 180 18 and 180 to 240 24 and more than 240 it is 30. So for passenger ship the requirement is higher than the cargo ships. What is LUT? LUT stands for local user terminal these LUTs are COSPAS SARSET ground stations that receive EPIRB distress alerts and transmit them to RCC and MRCC. So that is what LUT is. With this, we come to end of this third set of questions on PSCRB refresher exit exam. Hope uh, they'll be of some benefit to you and value to you. If you have any feedback or you need any further support, please do feel free to reach us on marinegurukul at gmail.com. To receive automatic update of our future releases, we would recommend and suggest that you subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching Marine Gurukul video series. Thank you.